you need to know about the associations of coarctation of aorta at least two to three times mcqs on this have been asked in super specialty exams the first association is turner syndrome you know that turner syndrome is often associated with bicuspid aortic wall as well as with coarctation of aorta second is male gender coarctation of aorta according to nelson males are twice more commonly affected than females so the ratio is 2 ratio 1 Third is face syndrome. If you remember, I have talked about neurocutaneous syndromes and face syndrome is one of the places where coarctation of aorta has been known to occur as a, as a part of the syndrome. Fourth is bicuspid aortic valve. As coarctation is strongly associated with bicuspid aortic valve in more than 70% of these cases. Mitral valve abnormalities are also known to occur. Two important mitral valve abnormalities are strongly associated with coarctation. First is a supravalvular ring there is a ring like structure present above the mitral valve and second is balloon shaped or ballooning of mitral valve so these are the two specific mitral valve abnormalities that are associated with coarctation and then you have sub aortic stenosis also called as sub valvular aortic stenosis so just below the valve there will be narrowing happening that is called as sub aortic stenosis now mcq point which has been asked in super specialty exam what is shown complex shown complex is said to be a feature it is a tetrad of four things so if four things happen we call it as shown complex first is coarctation of aorta second is subvalvular or subaortic stenosis third is supravalvular ring above the mitral valve and fourth is ballooning of the mitral valve so if all four are present we say the patient is having shown complex so please add it as a point to remember point to revise before you sit for your super specialty exam